Andrew Adonis, the former Labour Minister, has resigned as chair of the government-backed National Infrastructure Commission in protest at Theresa May's management of Brexit, describing the process as a dangerous populist and nationalist spasm worthy of Donald Trump. The former transport secretary headed the body that makes recommendations to the government on projects such as the high-speed rail link HS2. Most recently he recommended that 1M new homes be built in the brain belt spanning Oxford, Cambridge and Milton Keynes. Andrew Adonis, a Europhile Labour peer who previously served as Transport Minister, was appointed chair of a cross-party National Infrastructure Commission in 2015. He has resigned just two years later over the government's hardline Brexit policies, which he says are causing a nervous breakdown in Whitehall. He has been an outspoken critic of plans to leave the European Union after the June 2016 referendum and pledged to relentlessly oppose the EU withdrawal bill in the Lords. Adonis is the son of a Greek Cypriot postal worker and a trade unionist. He went to the fee-paying Kingham School in Oxfordshire before studying modern history at Oxford and gaining a doctorate. He worked for the Financial Times and later The Observer, where he often wrote on class and public services. Adonis was elected as a Social Democrat to Oxford City Council in 1987 before serving for the Liberal Democrats until 1991. He was selected as a parliamentary candidate for the party in 1994. However, he joined the Labour Party in 1995 after Tony Blair removed Clause for a broad commitment to socialism from its constitution. In 1998, following Labour's landslide victory the year before, he was appointed as an advisor to the Downing Street Policy Unit. In 2001, he was made its chair and was widely understood to be one of Blair's key aides credited as the mastermind behind many of the government's flagship education policies. He quit the policy unit in 2003 to work full-time on a biography of the late Roy Jenkins, although he retained his post of senior policy advisor. In 2005, he was awarded a peerage, becoming a government minister without ever having been elected to parliament. Lord Adonis has become increasingly outspoken on a series of policy issues in recent months, including tuition fees and vice-chancellor's pay. He resigned with a strongly worded letter accusing the Prime Minister of becoming the voice of UKIP and pursuing policies that he said would leave Britain in splendid isolation. I am afraid I must now step down because of fundamental differences on infrastructure and beyond which simply can't be bridged, he said. Adonis said he would be duty-bound to oppose the government's EU withdrawal bill, which will reach the House of Lords in the new year. He described the bill, the government's flagship piece of Brexit legislation, as the worst legislation of my lifetime. He said Britain could have left the EU, abiding by the result of the 2016 referendum, without rupturing our essential European trade and political relations. Instead, the Prime Minister had become the voice of UKIP and the extreme nationalist right-wing of your party.